unboxing this time we have a whole bunch of bags like the bags come like this that don't come in boxes or eggs or anything like that except sort of technically this one so I have one Hatchimal um, I have a couple of these pocket box dogs I have a couple of these mini races from Disney Pixar cars and then I have um, a whole bunch of single ones of other ones so Let's just get into it. I'm going to start right here with this Bushies. This is the Disney Princesses one. Uh, these are pencil toppers and apparently there is a limited edition golden haired Rapunzel. Uh, which would be really, really cool. But I would be happy with any of them. So, we got... Cinderella. Cinderella. Oh, she's so cute. And obviously she has a hole in her so that she can go on top of a pencil. Very cute. So Cinderella. Or Cinderella. And I'm pretty sure she's just common. Uh, yep, she's just common. There is actually a glitter hologram one in the four pack. That would be really super cool. But uh, yeah, in this one... <laughs> She's, uh, and apparently there is a sparkle one in the seven pack, but in the single packs, blind bags, she's just a, oh actually no, she's a rare, I can't read properly. So this top line is the blind bags, which is what we are looking at, and she's in the rare, so that's really, really cool. We got a rare Cinderella. Awesome. So... In the same vein, we have another Ushies, but this one is the Marvel one. Um, this has things like the like Iron Man, etc. And there is a golden classic Iron Man, which we didn't get. But we got a red Spider-Man. Red Spider-Man. Except he's not Spider-Man, is he? He's Toxin. Eddie Brock Toxin. Which, I don't know what that is. Because <laughs> Anybody who's been watching my videos knows I'm not really into superhero type things. Soz. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's uh, Eddie Brock Toxin. And he's a common. So, yeah. Uh, cool, I guess. <laughs> Next we've got a Justice League. Uh, this is a minifigure, mighty minifigure from DC Justice League. As you can see, I am being jumping all over the different fandoms here. And these are ones that ones that need to be put together apparently. Yeah, I got Batman. Black Batman. Did I get Black Batman again? I, sorry, Black Superman. Okay, so this is really interesting. In my last, uh, in one of my previous um, unbaggings, unboxings, I came across this Black Spider-Man. Uh, sorry, Superman. And it's like, why is there a Black Superman? I didn't know about Black Superman. And I think I just put his arm on back to front. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and then one of my lovely subscribers linked me to something and basically uh, Justice League Series 2 Mighty Minis gave away a plot line from the DC movies um, with the black Spider-Man because Spider-Man died or something um, and yeah they kind of gave away the secret. It was kind of not supposed to be well known, and uh, yeah, they kind of gave it away. And then photos of Henry Cavill in the black Superman suit started showing up online as well. So uh, yeah, they kind of gave it away in this here. <laughs> so now I have two of him, but that's fine. Um, I have one of these. Wow. 
The cars are made of metal, by the way. I have one of these WWE minifigures. I've opened one of these before and got um, John Cena. I'd like Roman Reigns or The Undertaker. probably give these figures to my partner who is way more into wrestling than I actually am. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Seth Rollins. There you go. I only know because he's on the back and he has, because these don't come with a checklist or anything, but yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Let's do the these are the single packs of Pachamoles. I don't have a checklist for these. Um, the checklists don't come in these packs and they never really have names in them anyway, which is really unhelpful. This one is a green one. I think it's like the jungle. I'm not sure. Um, so warm up the heart. Obviously you don't really need to, it's just to make it more fun to show you your Hatchimal that you love it. Um, so it's turned pink. Now, with these you can take them off all the way and have like a little nasty thing for your Hatchimal to live in if you want. You don't have to, obviously. Uh, I have no idea what this is. Um, in post, I will t attempt to find out so I can put it down so you can find out what it is. I did that in one of my other videos. Uh, it looks like a dragon. Is this a draggle? Either way, it's a common one. It's got silver wings. It's very cute. It's purple and green and it looks cool. It looks like it's laughing. It looks like a happy little creature. But um, yeah, it's got dragon spine, so I'm thinking this must be a draggle. See, I don't see them enough for me to know these ones. And they're a bit more expensive than some of these other um, blind bags. Alright, let's have a look at these real die-cast cars from Disney, Disney Pixar cars. Um, I have no idea how many there are to collect. So we have a... It's basically all the cars from... Cars movie. So there's all of these ones here. And then there's supposed to be some more coming. Um, yeah, so let's see who we got. Oh cool. We got matter mater. Mater matter. M-A-T-E-R, it depends on how you want to say it. But he is cool. He looks so rusty. Did a great job painting him. That is awesome. I love that. This bit here lets it down just a little bit because it's like seriously very obviously plastic. Where is this bit? Because it's metal. Like these are literally die cast. So they're actually made of metal with a few little plastic parts on them. But these are really cool. Kind of wish I had a little boy now. Um, I don't have little boys anymore. I have big boys who aren't really into this sort of thing. <laughs> but I know girls are into cars too sometimes. I mean, I grew up with... My dad used to work for Holden's. I grew up around cars. So, our second one is... Lightning McQueen. Woohoo! How cool is that? You know, because he's like the lead. So we got Lightning McQueen, and he is like really cool. I like little die cast cars. That's awesome. 
I remember my mum once giving one of my brothers a die-cast uh, Ferrari for his birthday because he said he wanted a car, so she bought him a toy car. <laughs> but that is awesome. But those two are really, really cool. Do much, do much like. I might have to see if I can get some more of those because they're cool. Alright, last but not least, we have dogs. Little tiny dogs. So we get a box, a sticker, and a mini dog. Two mini dogs and a bowl. Okay. I don't remember where I got these from. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, a dog in a box. Um, I'd love to get a Jack Russell because I like Jack Russells or a Fox Terrier. They're the dogs that we usually have in our family. Although currently we have a cross between a Fox Terrier and a Chihuahua, and she's insane. So I open up the box. Do, do, do. Oh, that's cool. So on the back it's like clear. Uh, yeah, so let's open up the dog box. So we have a little clear, uh, a little purple dog bowl. And. Dog stop. The big dog doesn't want to come out. We have a sticker of, I think that's supposed to be the Cocos, uh, the Spaniel. I'm looking picture on the back of the thing, because um, that's, um, it looks kind of like a room in there. See that? That's cool. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be a Spaniel of some variety. I don't think it's the Cocker Spaniel, I think it's just the Spaniel Spaniel. I could be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. I'm not really big on dogs, like dog names and stuff. Like, I'm not really up with it. So, Purple Bowl. Um, hmm. I think this is supposed to be a Sharpay. A cute little face. These are kind of like uh, rubbery. I don't recommend doing this to your dogs, but they, they're kind of rubbery, which is kind of weird, but cool at the same time. And this one is, hmm, uh, hmm. wow, um, I think it's supposed to be the Abraco Italiano. I'm trying to work it out from the pictures on the back, but the pictures on the back are actual real dogs, and uh, these are clearly not real dogs, and the colorways are slightly different. Um, yeah, but it's a big dog, clearly. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that is, they're super cute. They are super cute. I just wish that the pictures were a little more clear as to, because these are the, the pictures on the back are pictures of actual dogs. So it's not um, pictures of what you actually get. Alright, so let's have a look at the second one. And we got a little red doggy bowl. Um, and <laughs> that looks like a Labrador. It looks like a brown Labrador or a chocolate lab which is not actually shown on the thing at all so this one here hmm uh, I think this is supposed to be a Labrador because it's sort of like the picture they have of their Labrador and this one I think it's supposed to be the chow. Wow, I don't know. Um, could be the toller. No idea. <laughs> no idea what this is supposed to be. Cute puppy is about the only thing I can tell you. It looks like a puppy of something. Okay, it could be a spaniel. Could be a chow. It looks a lot like a cocker spaniel to me. 
might be what it's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, they are super cute. I'll give them that. They are, they are super duper cute idea. Um, and if you like stickers, like it's always great to get like things like stickers. So I have these two cute little stickers now. So yeah, so that is it for this unboxing. Let me know down below what your favourite is. I think my favourite is Maida from the toys. Um, if you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like mystery unboxings. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. Say yeah.